Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday. My name is Janet, and I am a personal trainer and group fitness instructor here in Charleston, South Carolina, or Mount Pleasant, I guess, to be more specific. And I just wanted to bring you today a um, body weight, strength, and cardio workout. So a lot of us are at home and we're wanting to figure out how do we work in fitness into our routines here at home and if you are someone who uses a studio or a gym regularly you might not have a ton of equipment at home and that is okay because we can just use ourselves so i just designed this workout to just use what we have ourselves so you don't need anything maybe a mat uh, or a carpeted area or a towel if you want to have something a little bit more comfortable on the ground and maybe some water and that's it. So let's hit play on our favorite workout playlist. I'm gonna let you be the DJ of your own workout and we're gonna get started with a warm up. We've got three circuits to get through, two times through each one and it should be about 30 to 45-ish minutes, somewhere around in there and we're gonna go. All right, so let's hit play. Let's get our warm up going and get moving. So, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our feet a little wider than hip width apart. So here are my hip bones and my feet are a little bit wider and we're just gonna go down in a squat. So all I want you to do here is just think about your range of motion through your legs and through those hips. So from the side, my knees are coming to about a 90 degree angle. I'm hinging at my hip, my spine is staying straight and my shoulders are staying up. So good range of motion through those hips, nice and loose. And we're gonna go into some jumping jacks here in three and two and one. So option one for jacks is just to step out. Let's get that heart rate up. Or if you're ready, you can go ahead and get that jump going. So what we wanna focus on for our warm up is that nice dynamic stretching of those muscles. So dynamic stretching is just moving while you extend through your muscles getting them nice, long, and loose, and ready for work. So, it's nice, slow, and controlled, but we are moving. It's not static stretching. We save that for the end. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Good, heading into side lunges. So, you can start with that side step squat if you wanna keep that standing leg bent, or if you're ready, you can extend through that standing leg into that side lunge. We're alternating side to side here. Now you wanna keep that spine straight again, just like that squat. You wanna bring those hips back, tailbone over that heel, and keep moving for just a few more. Ooh, breath starting to come up. So your heart rate should be rising. Therefore, breathing should be getting a little heavier. That's what we want. Let's go four more. And three, last two, Last one, good, we're gonna go into hopscotch. So, you're gonna step on one, one leg, out on the next. Other leg, out, in, out. Let's start to bring that up to a good speed. So, you just wanna step forward and out, just like a jack, but you're landing on one leg. Trying to get the outside of those hips nice and loose. We're gonna go into reverse lunges. Coming up here, we got about five more seconds. Last three, last two, and one, good. All right, reverse lunge. So this is gonna stretch out the front of our hips and get into those quads and those hamstrings. So you're just gonna go into a nice alternating reverse lunge. Keeping that knee over that heel, shoulders over hips. Look straight ahead, control your way up and down. So you don't want to plop down. You don't want to get a bounce going. You want to be in control of your movement here. Good, let's go, just a few more. Let's go four more. Last three and two. We're gonna run in place, last one here, and start to run in place. Now you can get a little side to side shuffle for a little bit lower impact. You can start to bring those heels in to that backside into those glutes. Give yourself a nice kick in the rear and anywhere in between. So 
again, combining dynamic stretching with nice light cardio moves to get our heart rate up so that we are ready to hit that first circuit. All right, hang with me here just a few more seconds. We're gonna go into caterpillars. We've got quite a few plank position moves. So we wanna make sure our core and our shoulders are ready. Let's go three, two, and one. Okay, so from the front, you're gonna bend at the hips. Stretch out those hamstrings, reach down towards the floor. Walk, 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 till you hit that plank position. Walk back and up. Let's go three more just like that from the side. I'm gonna hinge at the hips, reach for the floor. Walk, walk, walk. Here's my plank position, hips are down. Walk, 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 and back up. Good, two more. Let's go down, walk, walk, walk. Drop those hips, zip up those abs. Walk, 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 and back up. Last one, and we'll be ready. Walk out, hold plank, and come on up. And good, shake it out. Okay, so we got eight moves in each circuit. They're gonna be about 30 seconds each and we go through them twice. I'll give you a minute to rest in between each set, and then we'll go again. Three circuits, twice through each of them, eight moves, and that's our workout. Only using ourselves, guys. So we're gonna start in that nice low squat, okay? So I'm gonna be a little bit ahead of you guys. I'll tell y'all when to switch, and I'm gonna show you what's coming up in like the last 10 seconds or so, all right? So you're gonna hold down. So you wanna get those hips back over those heels. Spine is straight, nice and stable. Can you wiggle your toes down at the bottom? And we're just gonna get that nice little mini squat hop going. So we're not going into a big explosive movement. I wanna focus on getting that good burn down in those legs. So we just got a little bit of air underneath those feet. If that squat jump is a little too much, you can stay just in a nice little pulse. All right, ooh, already burning and we're only on move one. Nice, okay, so y'all stay there. I'm gonna show you what's coming up. You're gonna bring your elbows to your knees as you head down to the floor in a little push-up. So you're gonna hold down and bend those elbows, tap those knees, come on up. All right, now join me here. So it's like you're going down to a burpee, but you just push yourself back up. All right, really use those triceps, use those shoulders to bring yourself back into that squat position. All right, so those legs are in a good static hold. They are on fire right now, and our arms are working as we push off the floor. Good. All right, let's go three more. Then we're just gonna hold down in a squat jack. All right, last one. And now come up. Now you're gonna hold that squat. You're gonna go in, out, in, out. Stay low, stay low. All right, we're coming down to some plank moves. So those legs that are burning, they're getting ready to have a little bit of a break. Hang on to this though, okay? We're gonna go into some burpees with a squat jump. So we're gonna combine plank to legs, then we're down in our planks. Let's go three more, two more. Last one, from the side, here's that plank. Come down, come on back, and then you're gonna jump. Here's that big explosive movement, and up. If you don't like that, here's the low impact, step back, step up, reach. Otherwise, let's start to bring that speed up in that burpee. Good, good, good. Y'all ready to go? into some planks, take those legs out, give them a break. Mine are screaming. Breath is up, that heart rate is high. That's what we want, because we're getting ready to bring it down a little bit into more strength. Let's go two more. You got it. Here's our last one. Give me a good reach or jump here. Now, come down, plank. Okay, from here. You can be on those knees, or you can be on those toes. Push-ups. Give me a push-up here, push into a down dog. On those knees, you're gonna drop to those knees, push up, and down dog. All right, so here's one option. 
knees to down dog, or you can follow that plank, push up, and down dog. Now it's important to really lift those hips up to the ceiling using that belly button. Get that belly button into that spine. Really push against the floor through those palms. Get into that back. Get into those shoulder blades. Great. Give me two more. This one's a little bit slower, a little bit more controlled, but that doesn't mean we're not working as hard because this is tough. All right, hold that plank for me. All right, now lower down to the floor. We're laying down, but we're not taking a nap. We're going into Superman angels or snow angels. So you're going to lift those arms up overhead, lift your chest off the floor, lift those heels and reach out to the sides and then back up in a straight line. So you're reaching out to the side, spread those legs, lift up. Ooh, this is a good low back. This is a good booty kicker. This is getting into our back, our glutes, our hamstrings, those shoulder blades. Good, let's go four more. Then we're gonna go back into some push-ups. Last three, last two, and last one, perfect. All right, back into some push-ups. Option one here, I will turn this way. So if you're on your knees, stay on your knees, you're gonna go push up and then tap one shoulder. Push up and tap one shoulder. All right, if you're on those toes, give me that good push up. Abs are tight, they're zipped up around that belly button. And you wanna keep the rotation or the swivel out of those hips. You want to stay as flat as possible through the shoulder taps. Good, good, good. Getting ready to get into some abs into the front of that core and tap. Take it down and tap. Can we go four more? I think we can. Last three and up. Last two. Ooh, ready for some curl ins. Here we go. Bring it on to a seat. Bring those heels out. Palms are just a little bit back past those hips. Bend those elbows. Lean into those hands. Lift those legs. Curl into a ball and extend out. Curl, extend. Curl, extend. This is the last thing. This is our last move of the circuit. You get a break. Curl in and out. In and out. Really press against that wall in front like you're trying to kick it away. And bring those knees in. And in. Curl. Try and get yourself into as much of a ball as possible, guys. Let's give me four more. Last three. Try and keep that chest open and don't cave in. Last one. Woo! And come on down. Great job. First set down. One more to go in this circuit. All right, how'd you do on that one? Let's see if we can bring ourselves up a little bit in intensity. See if we can challenge ourselves a little bit more. Try and see how you can push yourself in a safe way. So think about ways to physically keep yourself safe, but see how you can make it a little bit harder. Can you maybe go half knee push-ups, half regular push-ups, things like that. So all sorts of ways you can challenge yourself here. Maybe add a little jumping if you stayed on the floor. Maybe add a little bit more intensity in your jumping if you went a little bit more conservative. So this is our second set. Let's see what we can do with it. Remember those squat hops back up on the floor. All right, we're in those legs. Here we go, sink down, find that good squat position. Hips are back, spine is straight. Wiggle those toes for me so you know your weight is distributed back into those heels. Here we go, little hop, little hop. 30 seconds here. Good, good, good. Keep that shoulder up, chest open, shoulder blades engaged around that spine. Good. Keep hopping. We are almost there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. That heart rate's starting to come up. Remember those push-ups? I'm going to hang here so y'all can see from the side. Let's go five. Last three, two, and one. Hold down. Come on down to the floor. Bend those elbows 
just tap those knees, back up. Come on down, back up. Down and up. Notice that we're not leaving that squat position. Those legs are working. We got lots of muscles happening in this. This is a tough one. Triceps, shoulders, and push back up. Woo! Second time around. We are feeling it a little bit more. Stay in it. Don't give up. Let's go four more. Last three. Coming down. Number three. Two more. That's it. All right, last one. Make it a good one. Come down and up. We're low. Stay low. Jacks. In, out, in, out. Pick up the speed, guys. Pick it up, pick it up. Start to get that heart rate up. Get that cardio back in. Woo, those legs. All right. You can get a little dance into it if you want to. Stay low, stay low. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's go, five more. Last four, three, two, one. What do we have next? Burpees, you know what to do. Come down, step out, out, in, in. Reach up or jump. You go where it's comfortable. If you need an off the floor option, here you go, hold down. Kick back, kick back, reach up. That's your off the floor option. Otherwise, try and stay on the floor. Engage that core, engage those arms. Keep those legs moving. Three more. We got it, guys. Last one here. Big jump. And come down. Plank. Push-ups to down dog. So push-up motion, come down and press up. Ooh, that feels good. I could stay in that down dog for a while. I bet you could too, but we're not there yet. Stay moving. Stay in those push-ups. Belly button into that spine. Lift through the hips. You should be feeling it right in the front of that core. Shoulder blades are working too. This is such a good one. It's one of my favorites actually. And lift. Let's go four more. We got those snow angels. Woo, make sure that you drop those hips back down so you're in a good plank. That you're all in one line. Last one, I think. We'll go with the last one. And come back down to that plank. And lower down. Three more moves, a minute and a half. Reach forward. Reach out to the side. Reach and lift. Make sure those legs are up. Off the ground, make sure that chest is up. You're extending through your back. And come out, elbows into those rib cages, and extend back up. Out and up. Good. Let's go four more. Woo, last three. And two more. Push-ups, shoulder taps. Last one. And extend. Back up into that push-up. If you want to take the push-up out of this, you can just do those shoulder taps. It's up to you. Here we go. Down, tap. Down, and tap. Just 30 seconds here. 30 seconds in those curl ends. And we're done with the first circuit. Y'all are doing awesome. You're working it today. Workout Wednesday. Now is the time. Tap. Remember, try and keep that core as stable as possible. Try not to open those hips up from the side. Keep them pointed towards the floor. Two more. Last one right here. Show me that. Good one. And tap, sit down. Palms are gonna be back. Just a little past those hips, right under those shoulders. Lean back, bend those elbows like you're gonna do a tricep dip. Curl those knees in and extend, push, curl, Extend, curl, extend, can you speed it up? A little bit faster, a little bit faster. Use those abs, keep that chest open. Try not to cave that chest in. We want it nice and straight. Come on, last one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're almost done with this last move. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and circuit one. We're done. You can just move that one aside and we're gonna head into this next one. While you're resting, I'm gonna give you a minute to come 
come down, I'm going to show you what's coming up. So you just keep moving. Maybe give me a little side shuffle. Try and keep that heart rate up a little bit. And here we go. So we've got some curtsy lunges. Actually, I'm going to do this from the side. I'm going to start with just the first three moves. Okay, so curtsies. You're going to come down and you're going to come out. You're going to come down and out. Now, you can stay on one leg or you can alternate. We're going to go one leg coming up. So you decide what you want to do. And then once we get to our next one, you're going to go from a curtsy to a regular lunge in that hold. So you're just going to go back and cross, reverse and cross. See how it's just a little movement. I'm just pivoting on that front leg just a little bit down and cross. Then after that, we hold here. We go into a kickstand jump. So it's a low lunge with a little hop. Now, of course, you can stay on the floor if you don't like that hop. All right, those are the first three. Then we start to go down to our planks again, okay? Y'all ready? Here we go. Curtsies, either alternating or on one side. I'm gonna stick to one side. Second time around, flip it. So I'm right-sided. I'm gonna start with my right leg moving. Okay, here we go. Let's curtsy back, down and up, down and up. So the first three are really gonna get into those legs. I want you to feel that hamstring. I want you to feel that booty on these. Now you determine your depth here. So you can just do a little step back, a little bit easier on the knee, or you can go down low, whatever feels best. Let's go two more. Last one, ready for that squat or that lunge hold? Here we go. So reverse lunge, curtsy lunge. Reverse lunge, curtsy. Good, stay low. You're moving through that back leg. Burn that leg on the front out. Keep that knee right over that ankle. Move out, back, and cross. Good, stay here. Give me four, and three, two, woo, one. Perfect, back into that kickstand and lunge. Up and lunge, I'm gonna rotate this way. If you wanna add that hop, add that hop, touch the floor. Get lower, get lower. All right, coming down into a plank. We're gonna go to a side plank. Give me three, two, and one. All right, my left leg is on the floor, so my left arm is gonna come down Find that plank. Here we go. You're going to get into a jackknife or rotation. Rotation first. Reach forward towards the floor. Lift up. Jackknife. You're going to rotate towards that left leg and then come right back out. So it's like you're doing a V up, but you're crossing into that back leg. So those hips are going to come up cross and then back up so if this is good and challenging for you and it feels okay stay here otherwise you can just go to those rotations here they are again rotate up and forward that is okay too or you can go to that jackknife let's go two more all right last one really get into those obliques lift and lower down, V-ups. So you're gonna lay down on the floor, either keeping those knees bent or you're gonna be nice and straight. Give me a good V-up. So extend nice and long, lift, and then back down. Lift, back down. Really try, stabilize yourself at the top. Now you can bend those knees if that feels a little bit easier, or you can bring those arms down and use those arms as a way to stabilize you if you're not quite at that overhead reach yet. Let's go. Three more. And two. And one. Good. Triceps. So palms back past those hips. Lift up into a tabletop. So you're going to lift those hips from the side. I want you in a tabletop position. Now you're going to take those hips down. And tap the floor, tricep dip, and then lift back up. V with those hips, tricep dip, and lift up. 
Now you can make it a little bit smoother of a motion. Tricep dip as you dip those hips. And I want you to really press through those heels to get those hips up. Hamstrings, glutes, and triceps are working here. Good, good, good. We're going in to some planks after this. Let's go five more. And lift up. Last three, really lift through the heels instead of those toes. Last one, hold tabletop and come down. Back to our plank. So we've got in and out, or side to side hops rather with that plank. So you can come into a bridge position and you can just step in and out. So you can go here, really get into those obliques, Otherwise, extend those legs and jump in and out, in and out. So, some people call these ski abs, some people call them side hops. What you want to do is just bring those legs in. So, a little bit more moderate version of that is just to go into those spider mans. So, that's always an option too. Try the hops if you can, just to get that heart rate back up. Then I'm going to bring you back up into our feet. Good, good, good. Let's go. Four more. Last three. And two more. One on each side. Last one. Woo! Come on back up and jump rope. Finish it out with a little bit of cardio. Now to get into those abs, start to swivel those hips. Jump, jump, jump. Shoulders are up, moving, rotating through those hips. Shoulders are nice and stable. All right, set number one is done. How'd you do? Ready for set number two? Let's go, five more seconds. Last three, two, and one. Hold, rest for a minute. Okay, think about what we just did here. We started on that one leg with those curtsies, going into the opposite side. So, my left leg was the stabilizing one. My right leg is gonna be the one that's planted on the ground this time. My left leg's gonna be moving. Y'all ready? Here we go. We've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Show me that curtsy. Take it down, up, down, up. Now remember, you can always alternate if you want to. Down and up. Thinking about nice, strong movement, pushing away from the ground, and up. Down and up. Be mindful of that knee, and you determine that depth. Breathe. Let's go three, two, and one. Ready for that hold, cross it back, hold curtsy. Remember, we're going to that reverse lunge. Lunge, curtsy, lunge, curtsy. We're down. We're not coming up. Stay low on that leg. Good, good, good. Rotate back and cross. Back and cross. Stay here. Don't come out of it. Burn it out. Think about those strong legs. Think about how much you are gaining in that strength in those legs as you keep moving. Let's go. Four more. Last three. And two, kickstand lunges. Last one, hold it down. Now remember, you can bring that knee up and down. Lift, start to add that hop if you want to. Nice little plyo move to get that heart rate back up, to burn that leg out just a little bit more. It makes it tougher. So because we're not having the added resistance of weights, the jumping, the plyo moves help add some resistance. And man, do we feel it. Woo! Let's go. Three, two, jackknife, side planks, hold it down. Now find that side plank. Again, you can be on that knee. Rotate forward, tap the floor, lift up. Option one, jackknife. You're going to lift up those hips, tap that leg on the left, or on the right rather, and then come up and then back out. So it's like you're doing that V crunch, but you're rotating through those abs. Really feeling that crunch 
in that oblique right here, facing the floor. And lift. Four more. Three more. Think about that shoulder right over those wrists. Can we go one more? We can. Last one. And good. V-ups. So think about those options. Bent knees, hands on the floor, hands overhead. Whatever feels best for you. V-up and then back. Up and back. Getting ready to go into those tricep dips with that tabletop. Getting back into the backs of our legs and the backs of our arms. And with that tabletop, low, or low back is working too. Ooh, this feels good. I like this one. I can do this one. Let's go three more. The fun has to end sometime. Last two. Ooh. Last one. And come back down to that tabletop. So tricep dips with that tabletop. Lift up. Heels over knees. Lift those hips up. Squeeze that booty. And drop down. Tap your backside on the floor. Tricep dip. Lift back up. So think about the two things that are working here. Tricep dips. Backs of those arms. Bend those elbows towards the wall back behind you. When you press through those heels, squeeze that booty. Think about those hamstrings. Press through the heels. How high can you get those hips up? Can you get it to that tabletop position? Good. Plank side hops. In and out from the side. Let's go four more. Last three. Two more. And here's our last one. And come on up. Bring it to that plank. So remember, a couple of options. Starting you off with that tabletop position, knee to that outside elbow. Option two, bring it to that Spider-Man or Scorpion. Option three, both knees into the side. Both knees, both knees. Get into that rotation. Remember, shoulders over those wrists. Try not to push back against the floor. That's gonna engage those abs. Even that much more. Good. Can we go five? Four. Last three. Last two. Jump rope side to side. Come on up. Ending our second round. Side to side jump ropes. So, shoulders are nice and straight. Swiveling through the hips. You can also add movement through those arms. Bring those shoulders out. Reaching side to side and rotating that way. Ooh, burning out those shoulders. I feel that one. Come on, y'all. You're doing awesome. We got one more circuit, and that's it. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, woo, one, and rest. All right, y'all ready for number three? Two rounds of number three, and we'll be done. Y'all rest, and here I go. Sumo squats. So we're gonna bring ourselves out into those heels. In, toes slightly turned out, sink it down. We're just gonna pulse it out, nice and smooth. Try not to bounce, okay? Then we're gonna go into obliques with those sumos, and then we're gonna go into burpee lunge jumps. So what that looks like is you come down, burpee, jump up, and then one, two, down, burpee, jump up, one, two, down, burpee, jump up. All right, here we go. First three moves, you know where we're headed. Sink down, sumo squats, pulse, pulse, pulse. You want to add a little jump? Add a little jump. Start to breathe. Heart rate's coming back up. You should be feeling that stretch, that extension through those inner thighs. Start to burn it out. Good, good, good. Think about, this is our last one. We go through it twice and you're done. We're gonna end up being about 45 minutes today. Here we go, last three, two, and one. Hold that good sumo squat. Bring those elbows out. Reach that outside knee, lift up. Reach to the knee, lift. And up, down, up. Really try 
try to get that elbow into that thigh. And lift, keeping those shoulders forward, just as open. Four more. And three. Last two. And one. All right, burpees. So you're going to come down, come back, lunge up, and then jump, jump. Back, other side, lunge up, and then jump, jump. Down, back, lunge forward, jump, jump. Down, back, forward. All right, now you know what we're doing. Start to add in a way to challenge yourself. Down, step back, and up, up. Now you can go on a little scissor kicks at the top. You don't have to do that big lunge jump. I'll show you a scissor kick option. Up, up, and then back. Scissor kick on this side. Up, up, and then back. Let's go two more. And up, lunge, lunge, jump, and back. All right, we're done with those. Hold that plank, lateral walks. If you are on your knees, you're just gonna stay with those knees where they are. You're gonna walk to the side, push up. Walk to the side, push up. If you're on that plank, walk, push up, walk, push up. Just nice side to side, lateral plank walks, and push up. Good. Let's go four more. Last three. Really try and get yourself into that walking motion. Try and get some room there. And last one. Bring yourself into a crunch. Here is what I call around the world crunches. So you want to think about going around in a circle with those hips. You're going to stay here. You're going to lean back and then rotate around. Let's go back the other way and rotate around. You're going to reach out and lift. Out and lift. Ooh, feel all those core muscles working in this one. Ooh, this is so good. Obliques and transverse abs, low back. All sorts of good stuff working in this one. Let's go two more. Here's one, last one, and come on up. All right, we got three point mountain climbers. So you mountain climb for three, hold for a beat. So if you're walking, you're just gonna go walk, two, hold. If you're running, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, good. Coming up on our last two moves after this. Nice and strong, keep those shoulders over those wrists. Try and engage those abs. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Woo, that hold, it adds a little something, doesn't it? Perfect, let's go. Two more here. One, two, three, last one. One, two, three. Frog squats from a burpee. So you're gonna come up and then come back. Come up and come back. So instead of jumping out of that burpee, you just hold that squat. So if you're walking, just step back. Alternate which foot leads. So that's one option. Otherwise, try and jump it forward. Let's go three more here. Last two, making our way out of that plank. Last one. All right, four jacks, four squat hops. Here we go. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. Four, jack, one, two, three, four, squat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, wide, one, two, three, let's go one more, one, two, three, four, nice and wide. One, two, three, four, and done. All right, shake it out. One minute, and we're into the last set. All you gotta do is get through this one more time. 
eight moves, about 30 seconds each, and we're stretching. Y'all ready? So remember, we started with those sumo squats. Grab some water if you need to. Don't stop moving. Just step side to side. Nice. And even breaths. Try and regulate it for a second before we send our heart rate right back up. Here we go, y'all ready? 10 seconds. A minute goes by fast, doesn't it? Set yourself up. Sumo squats. Take it down. From here, hips are down, knees are out over those toes. Start to pulse it. All right, now, if you've got it, add that little hop. Good. Think about nice, strong legs. Working through those inner thighs. And breathe as that heart rate starts coming up. We got those obliques. Good, good, good. Give me 10. Let's go five, four, three, two. Hold, elbows out, arms behind your head. Crunch over to the right, lift up, over to the left. Stay in that sumo squat. Don't come out of it. Still working through those legs, but those obliques are getting a good, Workout here, low back is activated. Really use your rib cage to lift yourself back up. You wanna feel it right in between your rib cage and your hips. Good, three more, two more. Last one. All right, here are those lunges to burpees. So, come down into a lunge. Burpee, step back, other side, two lunge jumps, one, two. Down, step back, other leg, come up, lunge, one, two, down, and come up, one, two, down, step back, other leg, one, two, down, back, other leg forward, one, two. Let's go four more here. One, two, three more. So good, y'all. You can do it. You can stay in it. We're going down to those walking push-ups. Last one here. And down to your plank. Walking push-ups. Walk to the right. Push up. Walk to the left. Push up if you're on your knees. Rotate right. Push up. Rotate left. So you're just swiveling on those knees if you're there. Otherwise, show me that walking push-up. Right. Push up. Left, push up, two more. I know you're done with push ups. We've done a lot of them today. But you are awesome for sticking with it, for doing it. All right, come down, around the world crunches. Either keep those arms at that chest or reach out. Come around to the side, like you're drawing a circle with those shoulders. And up, swiveling through those hips. And rotate around. And back around. Nice. Woo, let's go. Two more. Last one. And are you ready for those plank frog jumps? One minute left, y'all. That's it, that's all you got. Find that plank. Bring it in to that deep squat. We're not jumping, we're holding. Good. Don't forget that walking option. Step back, back. Forward, forward, hold, back, back, alternate those legs as to which one comes forward. Otherwise, show me that jump. And jump. And jump. Good. Final stretch. Four more. Last three. You can do it. Last one here. Four jacks. Four squat jumps, we're done. Let's jack it. One, two, three, four. Take it out wide, hold, jump. One, two, three, four. Come on, up. Two, three, four. Take it down, hold, jump. One, two, three, four. Jack it out. One, two, three, four. Come down, hold, jump. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Four, take it down, hold, jump, one, two, you're done, last one, and come on up. Perfect, awesome job today, y'all. We got right at about 40 minutes or so. 
And that was great. See what you can do by just using your own bodies. You have a number of resources and exercises that you can do when you just have yourself. Body weight is just as effective when you don't have that equipment because of all the ways you can mix it up. So that is your body weight circuit for today. I hope your arms felt it. I hope your chest, back, core, legs. I think we got it all, guys. So enjoy. For those of you who are going to be watching this later, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, let me know any feedback, comments, things that um, can help. So y'all are my eyes and ears. You are the ones that are doing these workouts and you are the ones that help people like me grow as instructors and trainers. So without you, I don't know how to improve. I don't know how to um, grow. And so that's why y'all are so important and vital to us as fitness professionals because you are our eyes and ears. So I love feedback. I love comments. Please keep them coming because I want to keep growing and keep giving you workouts that you enjoy and that are effective for you. So that's my little Wednesday spiel for you. I will see you all next time. And until then, have a good rest of your Wednesday, a good rest of your week, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in.